Hey everybody, finally it's here, Stems for Recordbox. We've been waiting for this years and years, and now it's here, and it's working. But uh, I did have a little a bit of trouble setting it up. I got the CDJ 3000s right here, and my first thought was to go into the MIDI part of Recordbox. Right up here you can choose MIDI, and then you can choose your CD... No, you can't. You cannot choose the CDJ 3000, nor the CDJ 2000 as I got over here. It's not possible to MIDI map them in Recordbox. I don't know why. Pretty silly, actually, and hopefully they will make it work because uh, I would love to, like, minimap just a few buttons on uh, the CDJs. But then I thought to myself, I got the XB1 up here, classic machine, uh, so why not set that up instead? So my plan was to set up these bright colors here. I can see what was going on on the bright colors button. So I went into the XP here in MIDI mapping and found out that actually the MIDI mapping on the XP is very limited as well. The only thing I could really set up was these uh, buttons up here. I could MIDI map those, but I wanted it down here. So uh, I used a little time to figure out how to do it, and this video I made so you guys don't have to waste time on uh, finding out if you're having the same problems as I did. So instead of going into the MIDI mapping part here, you actually want to go into pad up here, because the pad part is where you can change stuff. And uh, on the fourth here, we got the sampler. And I don't really use the sampler that much because I got the DDS 1000 here and I use that for sampling. So instead of sampling up here, I'm going to put in a user. That's like an empty canvas where you can put in whatever you want. And um, here I can choose transport. Let's go down here, transport and track separation. Instrumental on the first one. And then we're going to do the same on the second one, but with vocals. And then on the third one, we're going to do the same, but with drums. So now those three buttons are assigned to uh, do exactly what I want them to do. And of course I want to do the same on the other side up here. So we got left and right doing the same stuff. So now I can actually uh, separate the stuff that I want on the track. So for example I can take uh, Love Philosophy here and uh, use the music part, take away, as you can see right up here on record box, I'm going to take away the vocals and on the other side I'm going to do exactly the opposite, only keeping the vocals and uh, let's do a mashup. There we go, we're working with stems and can take them on and off on the XP up here. So, uh, you fool around with it if you got the XP1. On the controllers, it's pretty easy going into the MIDI settings and just change it up. But uh, yeah, I found problems with the CDJ, so this is how I do it. And if you want to see me use it and uh, doing some videos with this, I'm going to put up some more YouTube video very soon. So please subscribe to the channel and uh, let's see how we can have fun with this new amazing uh, stem part in record box. Also, if you're into DJing and DJing skills, I got a uh, uh, Twitch thing going on, playing four days a week on Twitch and uh, overhead cams and stuff so you can really see what I'm doing when I'm mixing. So uh, stop by on Twitch one day if you wanna and uh, hopefully see you soon. Bye bye.